What's going on guys? It's the Scotian Canadian. The Habs absolutely get their ass kicked tonight. 5-2 to two by the New Jersey Devils, which puts Montreal's record to 11-7-4 on the season. And that is rough on a night where most of the Atlantic Division is having pretty decent nights. I think Boston's in overtime right now. Uh, Buffalo won again. And uh, oh, the Leafs lost. Thank Christ. Uh, at least they finally get a goddamn loss. Jesus. But Montreal tonight. What an absolutely disgusting display of defense in the first and second period all around. But David Schlemko was absolutely leading the way with a poor, poor game all around from him. I don't know what this guy's strengths are. I don't know uh, what his role on this team can be. Uh, but one thing I do know is that Carl Alsner is not this team's worst defenseman. It is definitely David Schlemko. The guy's slow. Can't play well defensively. He's not good offensively unless there's one less guy on the ice on the other side. Um, don't know what else to say. The guy is absolutely brutal. And uh, just really got to... The other thing, too, is it's completely understated. The losses, um, how huge the losses of Yoel Armia are and Paul Byron. These are two very quality... Uh, Two-way defensive forwards, uh, great five-on-five five defensively, also great on the penalty kill. Ever since they've been out with injury, the Montreal Canadiens' defense has been absolutely exposed. And now with Noah Juleson out as well, who, you know what, for a very young guy in his early 20s, he's probably our third best defender after Weber and Petrie. Um, and now he's out too, so just... We're very weak back there on defense, and when you got guys like Schlemko, Ben, and Willette coming in to take these extra minutes, it's just going to be an absolute nightmare out there. And sure enough, they displayed that tonight. Now, I do have to say, the New Jersey Devils did not win this game just because Montreal played terribly defensively. This is a really good hockey team that deserves some respect in that Metropolitan Division. They don't have, uh, you know, a ton of superstar-esque type players, uh, maybe other than Hall, and uh, Nico Heischer, who's quite young. But guys like Pavel Zaka, are very good. Travis Zajac, Kyle Palm, Kyle, Kyle, ugh, Jesus Christ, Kyle Palmieri, uh, Miles Wood. And then on defense, you got some underrated defensemen. A guy like Damian Severson, absolutely steady back there. Um, and yeah, Keith Kincaid's been good for them as well, while Corey Schneider has been struggling. So... Good on the New Jersey Devils tonight, but man, that defensive performance from Montreal was brutal. The first period, Kyle Palmieri gets the first goal for the New Jersey Devils. Nice uh, tip from him in front of the net after the shot by Andy Green. Another very quality player. Uh, the captain of the New Jersey Devils. Very underrated, Andy Green. Uh, nice uh, tip from Paul Palmieri there. Seems to always have Price's number for some reason. Uh, but the Montreal Canadiens respond quick thanks to Jonathan Duran and Andrew Shaw. Andrew Shaw with a slick little touch play on the blue line. He is looking fantastic still with Max Domi and Jonathan Drouin. Love seeing that uh, him up there on that line and succeeding. So a nice tip, uh, touch pass from him to Drouin who skates up fast and snipes it on Keith Kincaid. What an absolute beauty of a shot. And good to see them get back in the game quick. But then... Nico Heischer scores it thanks to David Schlemko getting shoved off the puck. Easy as hell by a guy who's 20, year, 20 years old. And likely, oh man, it's just, you got to be better. That's absolutely brutal. Going to the second period. Now this was a very nice play early in, uh, in the second period by the New Jersey Devils. Beautiful uh, tic-tac-toe play. Hall ends up finishing it. But David Schlemko initially, when he sure enters his zone, Schlemko chases him way behind the net and then never gets back into position, which leaves Hall alone to just fire it in past Price. Um, Price was absolutely hung out to dry tonight. It's just a shame. And it's hard to watch because you know he's going to come out and stand in front of the camera after this game and say that he needs to be better. But that's not the case here. Ah, oh, just brutal. And it's hard to see because he's trying to get his game back. And he's getting no support from his defenders. <sighs> Absolutely disgraceful. Pavel Zaka then gets another goal for the New Jersey Devils. Uh, Xavier Willette, way out of position, watching the play, standing there in the, uh, in the slot. Unbelievable. Then Zaka again gets another one. Power play this time. David Schlemko gets caught outside the, the dots on the ice, way too close to the boards um, as the New Jersey Devils are coming up for that zone entry. Leaves the middle of the ice wide open as hell. Zaka comes in with speed and Schlemko can't do shit about it because he's slow. Uh, nothing more to it. Couldn't recover because he's slow as hell. 
Go into the third period and Max Domi extends that point streak. A huge positive from this game. We'll keep that going. Uh, keep, the, keep the streak going. He is hot right now, man. Unbelievable player he is. Uh, Duran picks up the assist. Uh, great offensive game from Duran. He was flying out there and he did whatever he could at the end of that game to try and get back into it. Nice uh, play on a breakaway to Deco, uh, Deco Kincaid uh, to go backhand. Rings it off the crossbar. You know what? Montreal actually had some pretty nice high danger uh, scoring chances this game. They had a post in the second. Gallagher uh, whiffed on one. Then we had the Drouin crossbar. Could have been a lot closer, but thanks to that absolutely brutal defensive showing to start the game, that is what cost Montreal the game. And Price did do what he could to keep them in it early. He was making some nice saves, but there's only so much you can do when you got oh, just the giveaways and just poor defensive coverage. It's unbelievable. Um, another huge positive from this game, Kenny Agostino had that goal call back against him. I'm not, I don't even want to talk about that. Just... The league has to find some consistency. It's unbelievable. But Kenny Agostino uh, played great. He looks like a serious, uh, seriously good NHL player. I love what I've been seeing from him game in and game out. He's physical. He's willing to drop the gloves like we saw last game. He's good on the forecheck. He's good in tight in open ice with the puck. He's got a ton of energy. I'm calling it right now. He is not going to play another game uh, for Laval this season. Uh, and it's either Nicholas Delorier or maybe Matthew Pekka who are, uh, could potentially lose a spot to him. This guy looks great. I love what he brings to the ice. And I'm looking forward to see what he can do for this team. Comes from the NCAA. Great signing from Mark Bergevin. Absolutely great signing. Uh, it ends with 28-26 uh, shots for New Jersey. Montreal was 60% uh, in the face-off dot tonight. A lot of credit there goes to Yesbiri Kotkaniemi. Looked really good in the faceoff dot tonight. He also climbed the lineup later in the game. Might have been because Philip Deneau was kind of questionable defensively tonight as well, which is really uh, outside of the norm for him. But it, I think it was also because of how well Kotkaniemi was playing. Um, he looked so comfortable out there, drawing penalties against him. And uh, Julian was probably just trying to get something going where the Habs were uh, so far down in the game. Montreal 0 for 2 on the power play tonight. Unbelievable. They continue to struggle there. Uh, some nights it actually looks pretty good, uh, but they just can't bury their chances. But then a night like tonight, just not good at all. they got to capitalize on these power plays and get it figured out. Weber is going to be a huge difference for that power play, but he's not going to just come in and magically fix it. Uh, the players themselves have to really, the rest of the players themselves really have to figure this out. Um, yeah, because it's 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 not good. Uh, they were 0 for 1 in the PK tonight, but uh, the key word here is 0 for 1. They only took one penalty, so that's a trend I've been seeing recently in the Habs games. They're very disciplined, not taking many many penalties. Great to see. You don't want to, especially in today's NHL, you can't be taking too many penalties. Um, Could have been a lot worse for us tonight uh, if Montreal kept take if Montreal took uh, any more than one uh, penalty. Um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, Weber comes back in about a week, uh, week week or two. It's going to be huge to get him back. He's going to solve a lot of the, the uh, defensive woes because of just how well he is defensively. But it's still going to be tough uh, for him where Noah Juleson is out. And, uh, like I said, Armia and Byron are out. He's not going to come in and just solve things right away defensively either. But one thing you got to hope for is that whoever he gets paired with, whether it be Mike Riley or Victor Mete, you hope that their game gets elevated as well by him. And that is very likely to happen because he'll take most of the defensive responsibilities uh, on his pair. And that gives us uh, some freedom to his partner, whether it be Riley or Mete. So, um, got to hope that, that happens for the Habs too. Um, they got uh, Buffalo on Friday. The game is at five o'clock. Uh, don't forget that game's at five o'clock on Friday. I think this is a must win game. Uh, I know it's early in the season, but we've already lost two to Buffalo and they are on fire right now. If we end up in a playoff race with them at the end of the season, um, if we have three losses to them on the season. That is what the difference is, uh, or could be to making the playoffs or not making the playoffs. It's going to be hard for Montreal to push for the playoffs this year. Uh, Tampa Bay looks good. The Leafs look good. Uh, Boston looks good as well. And uh, now Buffalo is sneaking up there as a, a team to be scared of. So 
I think you got to see Price start this game. I think you got to see Price start both of these games here back to back. Boss, uh, Buffalo Friday, Boston Saturday. But if I had to pick, I'm starting Price in that Friday game um, because that's a huge, huge game for the Montreal Canadiens. I'll talk to you guys after that one. If you like my videos, please subscribe. Hit that like button. You can follow me on Twitter, at Scotian Canadian. Got Instagram as well. And I even have a Facebook page if that floats your boat. Go Habs, go.